Welcome back. Timmy Kennig's still sitting in the heated truck trying to thaw out, but we are underway. Ryder Blackwood is still on the mound. So game number two, Clarksville Academy. It's gonna be popped up. Out of play. Should be two one count. Maybe Timmy will join us. Timmy, I believe it's a two one count. Ryder still on the mound. We're the home team. Strike two. I believe it's a two two count now. I believe it is, Will. It's delivered. Gonna be flared out into right field. Matthew Loveman goes back, makes the play. There from second base. Sorry guys, I was I had to eat me a cheeseburger in between games there. Oh, you were just trying to get out of the wind. Well, and it was nice sitting in the truck in them seat warmers, I promise you that. <laughs> so uh, bring up their two hole hitter. Colton Wallace. The only changes we had in our lineup from one to the other was uh, Colt, whoop, ground ball second base. Matthew Fields throws over to first, second out of the game. And that's it for Wallace, so two outs now. Sometime throughout the game, we'll talk about Clarksville Academy and the history Summertown has with yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, so, Brennan Gibson, three-hole hitter, playing shortstop today. First pitch was a ball. Going to be a called strike. So one ball, one strike, two outs. So, of course, our pitch count is just going to show Ryder's pitch count in this game. It won't include yes. the pitches he had in the previous. Ball is going to be drove into – left field here for a base hit. Bring up number 10, Evan Leonard. He's her second baseman today. Hitting in the four hole. Ryder picks over to first, back pretty easy. again. Ball is hit high. a mile high right here at us. Perez has got a bead on it off the building. Still could have made the catch. Just let it go. <laughs> Rance hides over to Casey as he runs up against a block wall over here. Said, got room? <laughs> Blackwood said, yeah, you had plenty of room. It bounces off the roof of the building. That ball was hit pretty deep right here to us, Will. Yeah, it was. Up in this wind. Balls drove into, ooh. <laughs> Line it? drive hit it Perez. Yeah, he makes the catch. He had to jump to get it. That ball was hit well, too. Uh, but right. third out of the inning, we'll be swapping up here. So, Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. in Puente Grande for lunch and dinner. With a wide array of mouth-watering entrees, there's something for everyone on the menu. And you can't forget the cheese dip. They'll treat you like family and you'll never leave hungry. Make Cocina Real Mexican Restaurant and Puente Grande Mexican Restaurant your choice for authentic cuisine. Located in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee.
All right, we're back. Grayson Bartison. Ain't going to be a lot of changes to our lineup. And I think the only thing we got is we just don't have a DH. Keegan McCafferty is still in the five hole, has went to right field, and Ryder Blackwood will be getting in a nine hole. Grayson Bartison leading all for us right here. He's delivered. Ball out. Pitch is delivered. Grayson's going to hit a line drive. Second baseman. Second baseman fields. Throws the first. Hope he can't handle it. Going to be an E on second. Or one. I mean, I'd have to give that error on the first baseman. Because the second baseman throwed it. And it he had, did have to reach and get it, but. Baseball was hit hard, though. Back up the middle. Second baseman makes a play on it. Don't get that out. Grayson's at first. Brings up Blackwood. Takes strike one. Cason squares the blunt. Takes strike two. Pulls back, umpire calls it a strike, goes down 0-2. I think they've given up on us on the scoreboard this game. Well, the home team has left. Yeah, and the home team was probably keeping it in the dugout, yeah. to be honest with you. Fish delivered. We called strike three. We'll bring up Kane Kinnick, hitting in the three hole today. Gonna say it. Grayson's gone. Kane's gonna swing through that. I, that's that's you can't do that, Kane. You gotta look up and see that Grayson Grayson's got the bag stole right there easy. He stole it on the pitcher. Pitcher never looked at him. And Kane hits a foul ball. You gotta just take that pitch, let Grayson get on the second. That's bad baseball. Pick over to first base now. Now it's no balls. One strike. We do have one out. Grayson Burson standing at first. Kane's going to hit a line drive over to the end of center field for a base hit. That'll do. Keep the line moving. Going to bring up Jackson Bennett. Runner standing at first and second. See, but at that, if you you know if Grayson gets second, yeah, now we're standing first and third, and it gives you a little more something to do here with uh, Jackson. So the pitcher is Colton Wallace. Yes. He comes set here, Grayson's. There's nobody holding him there. Thank Pitch is going to be up for ball one. A funny line from the office. What you talking about, Wallace? What's he talking about, Wallace? Yeah, yeah from different strokes. Jackson swings through that one for strike one. So we had a suggestion from Dillard who was listening each kid who doesn't get a bunt down, throw in a dollar, five dollars, whatever, and then the, the next kid that eventually does get a bunt down gets to keep the whole pot. And right now you got a lot more missing bunts than you got getting bunts down. It's going to be called strike two. They just have to carry the bucket from game to game with them. Yeah. I guess that'd be a good idea. Keeping the dugout. You need to boys carry cash. My son does. That's that ball's outside. That's a breaking pitch. That's what I told Diller. I said the bad part is the parents will be having to pay for it because half them kids over ain't got no money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they ain't got jobs. This is their job. 
Yeah, this is what they do. So Lever Jackson's gonna foul that one back. You'd think in this tournament they'd have somebody here operating the scoreboard. They're up here taking up money to get here, so that'd be nice. Is that two two wheel or three two? I've got two two. Two two. That's what I was thinking. I hate that I'm the official scorekeeper well, now. You're not. You're not. There's nothing official <laughs> about us. One out. Runner standing at first and second. Count two two on Jackson. Pitch is going to be up. Grayson giving this guy a fit. We now have the two aggravating base runners on our team on base. Got Kane at first and Grayson at uh, short. And you say aggravating to the opposing team. Yes. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Because neither one of them stands still the whole time they're out there. So it it kind of makes it, you know, the pitcher don't know what they're doing. Grayson's gone. It's going to be ball four. I think Grayson had that base stowed all the way anyways, no matter what. Yeah. So we'll bring up Keegan McCafty here with one out. Designated hitter in the previous game. Yeah, playing right field this game. Pitcher delivers. We ball down. So as far as the history of Clarksville Academy, I will say going back, the first thing I'll mention, 2009 basketball team, West Long, Logan, Harville playing on that one. And uh, they beat, Summertown beat Collinwood in the regional tournament, which sent Collinwood to Clarksville Academy for a substate, which Clarksville Academy won. Sub Summertown went, hosted Eagleville at Mount Pleasant, they won, so Summertown won. So Summertown met up at Clarksville Academy in the first game of the 2009 Basketball State Tournament, and Summertown took that one in a very good game, um, advancing to the Final Four. So that's the first bit of history we have with Clarksville Academy. Called strike. Two to one. <laughs> Looks like we did get the scoreboard working now. Somebody has started working. This is two balls, one strike. They must have they may have. They, they might have been waiting in line for a cheeseburger. They was waiting. They probably was because it was a pretty good line it up there a while ago, most definitely. Keegan's going to swing through that pitch for strike two. Makes that, the count two, two, two balls, two strikes. The next bit of history you have at Clarksville Academy was that same year, 2009. Logan's baseball team met them in the sub-state on their way to their state championship. Yeah. But it was uh, Clarksville Academy coming to our field. Keegan's going to hit a slow roller towards the pitcher. Pitcher tries to field, flips home. Yeah. Does get Grace in there. Does come up with that out. Well, it's, it's a big out for them. Yes, huge out. So that's two outs. Base is still loaded. <laughs> Bring up Aiden Perez. Hitting in a six hole for us today. Base is still loaded with two outs. Aiden's going to hit that ball. Ah, line drive back to the first baseman. Not a bad piece of hitting. That ball gets through over there. We get two out of it anyways, but we don't. Uh, so this is, uh, we'll take a little break. They're swapping up. Summertown did go through some batters and see if we can get out of this a little early here. This is Summertown Baseball on Max Sports Network. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today.
Now, all right, we're back here. Ball is flared foul. It's gonna be, it's gonna be number 26, Drew Miller. Get Will back on here. There he is. <laughs> got more interest in our cameras. Think like everywhere we go, somebody's got to come up and ask us about what we got going on here. <laughs> yeah, the at Columbia they came and asked him. <laughs> yes. And, uh, Which I mean, you know, it's it's cool what we're getting yeah. done here. Most schools don't have this. Pitch is delivered by riders, gonna be up and in. Makes it two balls, one strike. But it's really neat what exports and what y'all are doing for the Lawrence County sports. And I, I don't think people appreciate it enough. We called strike. That's a good pitch. I think it'll be. It might be one of those things that's appreciated later than than, than it is now. Yeah, when you go, when you, you know, tune back in and watch it. Well, I don't even think some. You know, the schools that's around us appreciate it as much as what they should. Uh, what's been done but yeah, there's, there's, you know, a, there's a few here and there yeah that there don't is. seem to, to like it i will acknowledge you know especially in spring sports uh, you do have more exposure other teams watching your footage uh you know basketball everybody's going to be able to find you yeah. uh, so we got a lead off walk we we'll ball four gonna put one on here for Ryder. Yeah, I mean, but still, I mean, they can still go look at stats wherever they want to. All this stuff's out yeah. there. I mean, you know, so. Yeah, these days, you know, college coaches and, high, and pro coaches, I mean, they know everything's going to be studied. Yes. So It's just the time we uh, live in. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think that's, that should have anything to do with the broadcast and stuff. Yeah. I mean, but just like I it's said. Not a, it's not a reason not to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. As he picks, Ryder picks over first base. But Can you imagine not streaming all your games just for because you don't want other teams to see it? Yeah, no. I couldn't even imagine yeah. thinking about it. I, mean, I don't think anybody, coaches like Jason or any of the coaches in Summertown would ever even think yeah. about that. But, you know, but yeah. this is this is hard to do. I mean, you put a lot of work into this. I don't think people understand. You know, you you was here this morning. We, you're here two hours prior to yeah, the game. I try to be. You know, trying to get set up, trying to do stuff. Then you're here an hour after the game's over. Yeah, but called it, strike. So I mean, you look at today. We're playing a doubleheader, so we're probably going to play four hours of baseball, and then yeah. you was two hours. You was here two hours early, so that's yeah. six. And then you're going to be here an hour after trying to get packed up. You just spent seven hours trying to broadcast the summertime. <laughs> you know, it's it's. I go through a lot to not have to work concession stands. <laughs> you think that's, that's the reason it. I'm out here? Yeah. that's the only reason y'all let me talk. Will fish is delivered. All this is designed so be, I don't have to work concessions. Yeah, it's going to be called yeah. ball. So. And I have I haven't worked concessions once since starting to do this, so it's it's worked so far. Yeah, it worked. Oh, oh he's gonna throw that gonna, in right he's, field, he's and he's gonna third. get he's going all the way to third on this one. Yeah, Keegan was in a hustle to get over there, but he ain't got a chance. And that's that was that one was a yeah that ball brutal. was told yeah well and Grayson I don't think I don't know where that come from you don't see that out of Zach Staggs much Zach. Yeah. So as a catcher, I mean, you don't see him do that very often. He uh, he's usually pretty accurate with that snap throw down there. It was a pitch out. So now with two balls, one strike, no, no outs. outs. Runner standing at third. Oh, catch it! God Almighty! Mm. I don't know what happened there. I mean, Kane. I mean, that, I mean, looks at Ryder and says that's my fault. But I mean, but no run. Yeah. His runner didn't score. Yeah, the runner don't score because I mean he thought Kane caught it. I yeah. mean that just. It's a line drive. It just popped right out of the palm of his glove, right straight up in the air. Well, he had a second chance to catch it, too, it looked like, when it was on its way back down. Yeah, these are – and, you know, we talked about the errors earlier. That's the errors that's got to go away. For us to win games, them's got to go away. Yeah. Ryder just kind of steps off, fakes over to third. Steps back on. Oh, yeah, umpire calls him safe at second. I think Jackson even thought he had him. It's a good shot by Zach to get it down there. We ball up. Well, they do have runner standing now at First and 
or second and third. Been all speed fishing the dirt, Zach box up. Two balls, one strike, no outs. Fish the liver. Right are struggling finding the strike zone right here, a little at a lead off walk. In the area at third to put two on. Line drive back up the middle. Case and Blackwood feels takes the play, but nah. Here we go. Don't just block the ball up. Hold on to it right here, guys. I, does drive in two runs. Kaysen comes in, throws it to the cut to Grayson. And uh, Grayson turns to throw it home, throws it off the backstop. So the runner does move yeah. up from first to second. So now, still no outs. Still no outs. So, so the one that reached on the, the, one that the reached, error scored. The one that reached on the walk scored. The one that reached on the error scored. Got somebody, somebody warm, warming, it looks like. I can't tell who that is. Well, it's, uh, it that looks is like Knox, Knox Counting. Knox Counting's jogging down. Ours. Our only lefty. Well, no, Otis. Uh, Otis is lefty. Yeah. I don't know if Otis pitches or not. Does Otis pitch at all? Or I think else? so. I, th I think that's why Joe mentioned that. Yeah. All right, so no changes being made here. Yeah, just come out and probably give them a pretty good tail chewing. I mean, we look like a bunch of seven-year-olds trying to play baseball. We're throwing it all over the place and <laughs> just not getting it right. So, so. Ryder's going to step back in. First pitch strike. Come set here, delivers right down the middle. He takes strike two, goes 0 2 in the count. Get us out right here, Ryder. It's going to be number four, Chris. Ball inside. What would you say his name is, Will? Chris Libby? Is that Libby or? Chris Libby. That, it's a good spot right there. Umpire calls it a ball. It's going to be two balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Runner at second. They have played two runs. Ball is going to be flared, hitting foul territory down the first baseline. Going to get out of play. Do that whole pitch count over again. Pitch is delivered. Ground ball back up the middle. Luffman makes the play, throws over to first, gets that out. Gets this one out, does move the runner up to third. Be a line drive out in the center field as Blackwood handles it. Throws in, score run, Will skill from Thor. Third. Makes it three to uh, nothing. Bring up. Number six, they're back at the top. Playing second base today. I ain't even gonna try. Cooper, I don't I don't even know some of the the coaches writing ain't the greatest in well, the world. Well Hassan Bond. if that's you know, if the writing looks right. That's gonna get through the hole. It's gonna five, six ball hit through the hole.
bring out their two hole hitter is their pitcher today, Colton Wallace, number 11. Swinging from the left side. Pick over to first. He's back safe. Ball's going to be fouled off. Strike one. back over to first. He's back in there. Ball's down. Zach's going to try to throw him out. He's in there safe. Zach had to dig out now the dirt. Try to throw him out. Runner does move up to second. Really need this third out. Ryder delivers home. We call strike on the inside corner. So one ball, one strike, two outs. One ball, two strikes. Delivered in the dirt. It's going to jump away from Zach. Moves the runner to third. Evens count up to 2-2. Two, two. Reaches delivered. Ball's lined in the center field for a base hit. Going to score another run. Be four runs they faded this inning. I don't remember how many pitches Ryder threw in the first first game. Yeah, you know, he came in. He basically threw two and the third innings. I'm bring in Colin Hitch as a pinch runner for Colton. Uh, I guess we're going to get a change. Here <laughs> comes know, Knox. So we'll yeah, have. we're going to get a change. We'll take a little break. When they get ready, we'll come back. This is Summertime Baseball on Exports Network. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. All right, we're back. Didn't make a pitch and change. Uh, seeing how Joe ain't here today, I'll give him a shout out. I'm sure he's listening because he's at a travel ball tournament. His boy will go to the mound. First pitch. Must have been a little, little outside. <laughs> Looked pretty good to me. But I don't count. So, whew, the wind's picking back up. Be called strike. One ball, one strike, two outs. Runner standing at first base. Scouting comes set and delivers. Leaves that one up for a ball. Got 
it's delivered. It's gonna be line drive one short hop to Kane Kinnick. He makes the play, throws right. over the first for the out. That was a nice play. Nice play right there by Kane. Of course, you know what? Makes up for about half of that, and he drops over here a while ago. I don't know if that ball was knuckling at him or what, but he makes an excellent play on that ball to get the out over there. So good job by him to get us out of the inning. But Summertown trails forward to nothing going into the bottom of the second inning. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Are you looking for a job where you can easily balance work and home life? By becoming a local driver with Southeast Cares, we can guarantee multiple benefits and a base pay starting at $17 per hour, along with a work-life balance so you can spend equal time on the road as with family. We also provide the latest updated equipment and technology to make your job as easy as possible. Southeast Cares, it's a family to be a part of it. Visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. All right, we're back. Going to bring up Zach Staggs. Had the homer in the previous game. Kind of put it out of reach. Yeah, his last hit bat here at this field was hit pretty deep here in the left field. We'll take that pitch for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. So we can't get something started here. Back swings through that one. So the other, one. the other bit of history we have with Clarksville Academy is the following year in 2010, like Bubba Clifton's senior year, I believe we had to travel to Clarksville Academy from Substate, and uh, that one did not fare so well. Didn't one. fare so well for us up there. Yeah, yeah I, I think that it, game was, well. I, it was. It was either the following year or maybe two years later. I can't remember. But uh, I know the one year we went to their gym for Substate, that was it. Yeah. And I think I remember someone saying they actually had a, a tinier gym than we did. Yeah. Oh. As, as Zach is, has a leadoff walk. He's hit by pitch. Oh, hit by pitch? Yeah. He's up and in on him, going off oh. his elbow guard. He's going to bring up Matthew Luffman. All right, we'll have a discussion here. I think an umpire was checking on him oh, over okay. there or something, and Zach said, I'm good, dude. So, got that straightened out. Pick over the first. Yeah, it's always nice when you get hit and it's just. <laughs> yeah, first thing a dude's throw at you. Yeah. But he did get hit in that elbow guard the way it sounded. And he didn't act like it hurt at all, so. Pitch is delivered. Matthew holds up on it. That pitch was up on him. So one ball, no strikes, no outs here. Lead off batter on, then Zach Stagg standing at first base. The wind has not died down at, at all. all. I will most definitely be glad as Matthew swings through that to get in the truck and start home. <laughs> will says same here after he turned his mic off. Will's talking to me and ain't got his mic I'm on. I'm going to be it. At church tomorrow with the red face from all this wind burn. <laughs> yeah, me too. Pitch is up. The viewers not very interested in us today, Timmy. Not in the second game. Oh, they ain't. We got no, nobody watching. No, not many watching. Well, Cowton's watching. Yeah, that's all. That's all that matters. He's the only one we got. Ah, 
Matthew fouls that and off on a little check swing there. Makes the count 2-2. Two -two. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers to Matthew. Takes that for strike three. That looked like a pretty good pitch from here. I think Matthew knew it too. Bring up nine hole hitter, Ryder Blackwood with one out, runner at first. We said earlier, I think uh, Ryder got his first RBI in that earlier game was a high scooter with a double he hit into left center field. Come set here. Got a good lead over at first. Ball's going to be drove right here in the right field. Gets over the right footer. Ryder's going to hit another double. A left footer, I mean. I said right footer, but we're left field. Ryder two for two on the day with two doubles. He keeps this up and gets a couple more bats. He'll be leading the team in doubles. <laughs> I would say he might find himself in a cleanup spot here hey, long. You know. Ryder's going to jog off, give you stuff to his dad over there. Good piece of hitting, Ryder just backsiding. Hit it back down the third baseline over here, pretty close line. Got over the left footer's head. And then it flips the lineup over to Grayson. Flips the line it's over. It's great when your yes. nine-hole hitter can do that. Absolutely. Grayson steps in. One out. Runner standing at second and third. Takes first pitch curveball in the dirt for a ball. Go set and delivers. Grayson takes. Uh, he calls that. He calls that a strike. But that's. I mean, that's down. I mean, Grayson. Grayson can't hit that pitch. I mean, that's. Umpire couldn't hit that pitch either. Yeah, no. Not without a nine arm. I believe that would have took an eight arm. Nine arm probably wouldn't have got there. Ball's going to be drove through the 5 6 0 for a base hit. Going to score one. Ryder Blackwood's making the corner. He's going in. Slides in. Grayson Burton's going to move up to second. Good piece of hitting right there by Grayson. Get him two, two more RBIs. Get us two of the four back pretty easy. He'll bring up Case and Blackwood. But one out, nobody, nobody behind Grayson here. Stand at second. They've called timeout to come out to looks like the catcher's called timeout and he's pretty adamant out there. <laughs> I mean, Will, he, huh? He's looked to me like he was chewing some tail. I like that. I mean, yeah. I like that from a catcher. I do. I mean I Step up and be somebody. Say, look, guys. Well, is he chewing out his pitcher for giving up a I, hit, or is he like, I, it's, it looked was there a defensive mistake there? Yeah, somewhere? well, I mean, I feel like the, you know, I don't know. It looked to me like he was on the third baseman pretty hard. I don't know if it was about to throw when he turned and threw it home. The guy was already there or what. If he could have held Grayson at first. or, But he was very adamant about what was going on. Casey Blackwood's going to swing through the first pitch for a strike. Grace is going to foul that one off over the first base dugout out into the soccer field. Go down 0-2. Pitcher comes set here, ready to deliver. The 0-2 pitch, he does. Case is going to hit a ground ball to the third baseman. He's safe over there, safe everywhere, pulled the throw. Grayson kind of jacked him around a little bit and 
made the third baseman look at him. Third baseman pulls the first baseman off the bag, can't make the tag on Kaysen getting down the line so quick. So Grayson does end up moving up to third. Looks like their coach is making a first baseman change. A first baseman change. And a third baseman change, I think. Well, let's take a quick commercial break. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a little break. Out. We'll be right back. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf. And this is Hustler Country. All right, we're back. They did make a change. I, I think their first baseman come to third, and they brought a kid out of the dugout to go to first. I was trying to find the thing. I couldn't find it. But a runner standing at first and third, Kane Kinnick up to bat. Kane taking first pitch all the way. Oh. They called Kaysen out at second. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, I don't know. The umpires called him out. Kaysen saying he didn't get him. I can't see it over there. He's standing. Oh. Well, he's standing there, but. Oh, there's no way he was out, unless he came off the bag. As Jason goes out and has a little talk Look. with the umpire, and the umpire don't change nothing. I, well, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time. Yeah, here, I couldn't say. get to where I could see it. But Kane takes first pitch ball down, trying to let Kaysen move up, and they, you know, they throw it down there. Kaysen, from here, it looked like he was safe. Umpire called him out, so. Grayson Knight, third. Kane's going to take uh, ball maybe. two out. Oh, wait a minute. Scoreboard says one ball, one strike. The pitch here is delivered. Kane's going to hit a fly ball out into center field. Center fielder comes along, makes the play. The third out of the inning. If, that, if there had just been one out there, that would have brought in a run. We'll take a little break. It's Summertime Baseball on Exports Network. At Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, we're proud to be locally owned and operated because we're not just a bank, we're family. When you call, you'll be greeted by a friendly representative who's ready to discuss your banking needs, as well as offer our competitive rates on CDs and money market accounts. Our loan decisions are made in-house and never sold to a secondary market because our commitment is simple. You matter to us. At Lawrenceburg Federal, we offer all the conveniences of larger banks with a personal touch. Join us at Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, where community, trust, and service come together. All right, we're back. And Summertown does play two runs there. Cut the lead in half. Ball is going to be lifted into center field. Casey Blackwood ought to have plenty of time for that one. He does. Makes the play. I lost my lineup for them, Will. There it is. That was... And they, they've made some changes since the last at-bat, too. Yeah, that was number 10. So this is three who Leonard. came in? 
This is number three that come in is going to be Evan Oslines. Olson? Yeah. What are you looking at? Oslins. Oslins? Yeah. I guess you'd say. Evan Oslins is number three. He come in to play first base. He's going to foul one out of play behind the third first base dugout. Delivery swings through. Strike two. So one ball, two strikes, one out. The wind is shaking these cameras bad now. Shaking me pretty good too, Will. Ball's going to be grounded down to the third base coach. He drops his line up, makes the play. Player runs out, picks his line, keeps him from having to bend over again, picks his line up and hands it back to him. Still one ball, two strikes, one out, nobody on. Fix delivery. Called strike three out there on the outside corner. Nice pitch right there. I hate to say it, Joe, but he, you know, it's uh, it's kind of funny when Kane jogs into the, the mound there and he delivers his pitch. Ball's going to be lifted here into left field. Rez makes the play. Be the third out of the inning. And so Knox, Knox is pitching. It's kind of funny when your third baseman jogs in, Joe. I know you're still listening, but Kane jogs in beside him handing the ball back, and Kane's taller than him standing off the mound than, than he is on the mound. So he, <laughs> he kind of, you know, but, hey, pitching, pitching, doing well off the mound for sure. So this is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. Jackson, Jackson Bennett steps in the box, swings through that pitch, strike two, took the first one for a strike. Keegan McCaffrey standing on deck, playing right field for us today. Ball's going to be in the dirt away. And Will's been fighting this wind all day sitting here. And I just got up and walked about 10 foot behind us on this deck, and there ain't a bit of wind blowing. I think the wall's blocking it. Victor comes set to deliver the one two pitch. He does. Jackson's going to hit that ball into center field well. Center fielder goes back, makes the play. To me, that's one of the hardest balls to play as an outfielder. That line drive hit straight at you is one of the hardest balls there is to judge. But then just about got over him. He had to he's come forward and had to back up to make the play. Gonna bring up Keegan McCafty with one out. Bottom of the third inning. 
Summertown trails four to two. No balls, two strikes here on Keegan. Keegan's going to hit a line drive through the 5-6 hole for a base hit. And Keegan just doing his thing. Bring up Aiden Perez. Aiden squares the bunt, gets the bunt down. Going to have to go to first to get him. Keegan's making the turn. They've got him hung up. Keegan gets back in on Keegan. <laughs> yeah, uh, there again, guys. I will say it again. Keegan, Keegan is hung up, dead to rights. Somehow. That. No, Coach Burleson's out here talking something. I don't know. Oh, he's looking for an interference call. Or something. I don't know what he's talking. But Keegan does it some way or another. Keegan gets hung up out here in between second and third. They get him in a rundown, and he gets back to second. The question Safely. is, why, why did he turn – and, and hit well, the third to start with. If he, I think if he don't check up at all, Will, he's got a chance because a third baseman made the play and nobody was covering. I see. Nobody was covering third. Had somebody warmer down there, Timmy. Was it Case and Blackwood? Uh, it's, yes. That's Case and Blackwood walking back towards the dugout right there. You know I'm blind, Will. You can't ask me uh -huh. questions like that. So two away with one runner at second now. Zach Staggs should be Zach up Staggs, now. Yeah, Zach Staggs hitting for Summertown. Hit me one, Zach. Just out of reach here to my left would yeah. be great. We'll take that one. Ball away. So one ball, one strike, two outs. Keegan McCafferty standing at second base. Settles, come set, ready to deliver. He does. Zach's going to hit that ball down the right field line. In fair territory. Keegan's going to score from second. He just fisted that ball. He just, just the strength. Wow. He just fisted that ball over the first baseman's head out there in the no man's land. Keegan was with two outs. Keegan moving on contact. Scores from second base. We are going to get a runner here for Zach Staggs. He's the hind catcher. I believe that's Mason Neal. He's like the designated runner for everybody on our team. I like it, though. The kid can run. He's going to be a big help on this team in the next year or two. We'll bring up Matthew Luffman. Matthew's going to drive that ball in the center field. Center fielder backs up, makes the play. That ball was hit well. The center fielder had to go back and get it. Summertown does play another run, make it four to three. We'll take a little break as they're swapping up. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. 
Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. All right, we're back. This is Zero Floyd Dodwell in the box. Swings through the first pitch for a strike. Second pitch is going to be down and wave for a ball. And locks, knocks looks got so a, little there. Got a jet throwing shadows over the field. That ball was hit off his foot, foul down third baseline. We do have a jet just flying right over us. <laughs> yeah. What in the world? We ain't seen one of them all morning here. He's coming in pretty low. The shadow was actually on the baseball field as he went across. Yeah. So it makes it one ball, two strikes, knocks delivers. Oh. Must have been, a little Must have been just a little high. Trying to get out of the wind back here. Fish delivered, going to be lifted into right field. Keegan McCaffrey's coming strong. Oh, just absolutely misjudged that one. Gets over his head. Throw in the second. Runner is safe. Yeah. I, I didn't know if I caught what happened or not. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if he. No, I missed it. Well, okay, there's no sun. It's no, but I, he just completely lost the ball. He overrun that ball by 10 feet. Turns into well, a double. Well, and those those errors tend to find their way across the plate. They do, absolutely. Especially when they get on with no outs. Knox delivers here, kid squares the bunt, gonna bunt right back to Knox. Knox is gonna go to first base with it, get that out. Good job there. Yeah, good job on Knox. Got one out, runner at third. Sometimes they try to figure out some way to get out of this without this run scoring. Uh, look good, look good, called ball. Must have been a little up. I don't argue with the umpire too much. He can see it better from where he's at than I can. That one's gonna be down the way in the dirt. Ball out. Bring it to a 3-0 count, one out, runner standing at third. That's all right, Knox. Go ahead and put him on. Get me a ground ball right here. Turn two. That's one way to get out of this inning. Tristan Coble was just up. Where was that one? I, I don't know. I mean, it looked like it was right down the middle to me. I don't know. This is number six, his leadoff hitter. He must be a switch hitter because he swapped sides now. And 
going to be ball two. Liver swings through that one, fouls it off. I think he's, you don't see this very often either. Coach is pulling him out of the game while he was hitting with a two ball, one strike count. He's pulled him out of the game, putting somebody else in. Well, he is a. Hey, I'll just be honest with you. I mean, if he, if. Uh, you think he missed a sign? I, I think he misses a sign because I think he's sending the guy from first on that pitch, and I think he just flat out missed a sign, and the ball was down, and he swung through it. Right, so and we have number nine. Come, so that, and that was his leadoff he just took out? Uh, yes, that was number six. That was his leadoff hitter. All right. Well, I guess so, you're expecting a bunt here now. <laughs> oh. They got them out at second. Yeah, Zach. All right. Zach throws him out at second easy. For that out. The kid at third don't move nowhere. Man. It's a lot going on right now. And I'm missing about half of it. And he gets the RBI and anyway. he gets the RBI. He does. Good piece of hitting by number nine. I'm gonna say that's so that kid comes up off the bench, mid, mid middle of the count, and uh, hits an RBI. Yeah, I think it's Garrett Allen. Is who that would be? No, Garrett Allen is number seven. I'm not seeing a number nine on the roster. I'm not seeing a number nine on the roster here, so I don't know. They've kind of got me messed up on who's yeah. hitting. This is Colton Wallace. This will be number 11, which was the starting pitcher. What you talking about, Wallace? Ball's going to be lifted here in the left field. Hayden Perez makes the play, but they do play the run there. Makes it five and to three. I guess the run that scored was the error that was made not catching the ball. Yes, in the right field. Yeah. it was. So this is Summertown Baseball on X Sports Network. <laughs> All right, we're back here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Ryder Blackwood steps in. Swings through that and fouls it off into the parking lot. 
Ryder is two for two on the day. All right, he ain't have it two at bats. Now I think he's just had two at bats and got two doubles. See if he can't get us another one right here. Squares the bunt, lays the bunt down, and he's beat that out. They're not getting that. That a boy, Ryder. Show him. I can hit doubles or I can bunt for oh. singles. It don't make me no difference. He's an on-base machine today. Uh, yes, absolutely. And he's hitting in the nine hole. There's, you know, that's a good spot for him. Base runners in front of the top. Now you got speed on the bases too. I think Ryder is. Uh, Ryder keeps doing what he's doing. He's fixing to earn him a. Yeah. He's been earning him a position in this lineup for sure. As Grayson Bartleson comes up, swings through that one. Oh, he was. I almost he was going if, for it. Yeah, if he would have hit it, he would have hit it over my head. Yeah. He was coming. I like that. Hey, first pitch strike. You got to come out of your shoes, guys. We got to try to hit the baseball hard. I like it. Second pitch strike. You got to you got to try to hit it hard. That's low. That ball's down. Hey, that, you know he called that on Grayson. His first at bat, one down there about like that. He called a strike. Pick over the first at Ryder. He gets back safe. Grayson gonna step back in the box. One ball, one strike. Nobody out. Summertown trails five to three. Pick back over to first again, right or back easy. Pops her right back up. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers home. Grayson's going to hit that and out into center field. Center fielder's coming on pretty strong. Ball's going to bounce in front of him. Ryder played that in just right. It's a good job. Good base running by Ryder. My mind, he was out there about three quarters away. If he catches that, he may have been out just a little too much. But we'll bring up Casey Blackwood hitting in a two hole today with two runners on. Let's see if there's a bunt here. Pitcher's going to step off, make everybody kind of walk back to the bases. He is squared the bunt. Pulls back, slaps it back up the middle. Uh -huh, that just, oh, they like to turn a triple play on that. Grayson has to slide back in. Did the second baseman make that play? No, or the? it was a shortstop. The shortstop. Oh, well, now what are they talking about? I don't know. The shortstop is so it was a slash. Casey squares the bunt, pulls it back, slashes. What are, they, what are they doing? I don't know. Jason Burleson's about to uh, lose it, though. Oh, Jason is losing it. I don't know exactly what. To, I think they're calling interference on Ryder as he was trying to get back to the base. You can't do that. Uh, I so. mean, it just he just turned and run into the guy because the line drive was right back at the shortstop, which was standing in between Ryder and second. Ryder was kind of hung out to dry. Ryder turns and goes back. Well, when they throw to first. But we'll take a little break as they sort this out. But they've called it a triple play. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6.
No, we're back as it was called a triple play. I don't know exactly what they've called or how they've done that. That ball is going to be lifted into right field. Keegan McCaffrey coming over, makes the catch. There again, I'm going to say it again, Will. I wish he would put that other hand up there. That was number five, Brennan Gibson, which is their shortstop. Going to bring up Evan Leonard, number 10. This is their second baseman. No, pine catcher. Sorry. I don't know what that call was. Ball's going to be grounded through the 5-6 hole. Got a runner coming for their catcher. Be number 18. Gray Snodgrass. Brings up number three. Is this this is who came in mid at bat yes, a while ago? Yes. No, this is who came and played first baseball. Come in and played ago. first baseball ago. Yeah. It's Evan. Yeah, their whole lineup's changed. He's he's uh he's bench players and move players. Which I like. Called strike. I mean, one ball, one strike. which I think you're not going to be able to do. It's going to be a called ball, Will. I think, you know, that's going to be something that coaches are not going to be able to do. They're not going to be able to coach like this. Next year, the year after, when they do do this transfer deal that they've got coming. I sure hate that. Yeah. I don't like it. That's going to be called ball, make it three balls, one strike. I don't like it because like that, I mean, you pull that kid out, their parents will just come get them and just carry them to another school and they can play. So they're you know they're going to get an automatic transfer without having to move. That ball is going to be lifted. Matthew Luffman's back makes the play, second out of the inning. If they do come up with this transfer deal that they've got that they're in works of doing, uh, recruiting is going to be out of control. It will, and I think it it does away with the way a coach can coach the kids. I mean, you know, you yeah. you're really not going. It's going to kill a lot of the discipline, in my eyes. And what's the good that comes out of it? That ball's lifted down the third baseline. Kane Kinnick's going plumb to the wall. Can't get to it. I don't know what he run into over there. He was, that ball was over the wall. He hit his arm on something. I don't know what that is, folded up over there. Batting cage, back backside of a batting cage net. He tracked it well, just couldn't quite reach it out there. Gonna be called strike. Go down 0-2. So no balls, two strikes. Here in the top of the fifth. Counting delivers. That ball is drove into center field. It gets by Kaysen on a dive. It's gonna score at least one. He's going three. Yeah, it's no sense in throwing Jackson. Just hold it up and walk it in. It's a triple on Kaysen, which, I mean, I think you've got to go for that ball. I can't, you know, can't say nothing. He's going to score one. Bring up Floyd Dodwell. Hitting in the seven hole today. He is their DH. We ball out. Cotton goes down. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Runner standing at third. Summertown trail six to three. Gonna be called strike. I don't know if that's a changeup or a curveball or what, but it's an it's an all speed pitch. Cowton's doing a pretty good job of locating with. Delivers this pitch. Called strike two. Look like the same pitch, just a little different height. 
Shelton comes set, delivers a 2 2. Going to be a ground ball to third base. Kane fields, throws across the field. Out of reach over at first. Brings up Chris Irby. They do drive, get another run in on that. Chris Irby swings through that one. Strike one. Ball's gonna be grounded. Kane Kennett comes across in a five six hole, tags the runner, third out of the inning. Gets us out of it. So we'll take a little break. It's the Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. All right, we're back. Kane Kinnick steps in the box to lead off the bottom of the fifth inning. Summertown trails seven to three. He takes a first pitch strike that's down. Looked like pretty well the same location called ball. One ball, one strike. And he's fouled that and off the catcher. Makes it one ball, two strikes. Pitcher comes set here and delivers. He's going to hit a soft ground ball to the shortstop. He feels, throws over the first for the first out of the inning. Bring up Jackson Bennett. Called ball one down the way. Ball's going to be drove here into left field off the wall. Jackson's going for two. We get down. Jackson missed that home run by exactly six inches. These are six inch boards on this wooden fence we're looking at and it hit the very top board. 
left fielder, I don't know if that was a lucky play or a good play. As it come off the wall, he dove and caught it off the wall to get it back in quick. Bring up Keegan McCafferty in the five hole. Keegan's gonna take ball one down. Pitcher comes set here. Keegan's gonna hit a ground ball towards third base. Foul. We've got us a nice little audience out here in the perch with us now, don't we, Timmy? Keep picking up some guys out here. Say it's colder up there in them bleachers than it is out here. I'd hate to be up there. Keegan's going to drive that ball for a base hit. Jackson's going to round. He's going to score. Coming from second, Keegan's going to go all the way to second on the throw. Good piece of hitting right there by Keegan. Does play another run, makes the score seven to four. Summertown trails by three. Here in the bottom of the fifth with one out. Bring up Aiden Perez. Aiden's going to take up and in for ball one. Keegan's been swinging it well today. Keegan's been doing pretty good with the bat all season. Every time when he gets a chance with it, he's he's tried to make the best of it. Aiden's going to hit a hard shot through the 5-6 hole. Shortstop comes across, makes that play. Don't throw Aiden out over at first, though. That's actually a pretty good play by the shortstop to get there. Does move Keegan up to third. It's going to bring up Zach with a little bit of speed on first with Aiden. He's over there getting his muffin mitt out and getting ready to steal this base. <laughs> Zach Stagg's been hitting the ball pretty well today. He really has. Aiden's going to get him a pretty good lead over at first. See what Burleson's got in mind here. Catcher's got a good arm. We've seen it. Takes ball one out. Aiden don't go nowhere. Pitcher delivers to Zach. Called strike one. That's a fastball right down the middle. Comes out here and delivers. Zach swings through that one. I think he was he was trying to tie the game up. That's what it looked like. Yeah, he come out of his shoes. Hey, I don't mind it. Now you got to readjust. You got to put something in play on the right side. Big hole over on that side with the first baseman holding Perez on. He fouls that one back. So one ball, two strikes, one out. Perez standing at first base. Keegan McCafferty, this RBI line drive is at third. Gonna be a ball in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes now. He was the count up. Zach's going to step back in. Pitcher delivers home. Zach takes that ball down and away for ball three. Pitcher's been pretty accurate when he wanted to be today. I mean, that's this was a it's three not, balls, two strikes. So He's not tried it at all to move that runner from first to second here in any of these. Runner, 
Ball's hit to the second baseman. Kept us out of the double play with the runner moving with 3-2. It's a good job right there. Good RBI. base running. RBI by Zach. Gets us a run in. Hits the ball backside. It's going to bring up Matthew Luffman with a runner at second. Two outs. Summertown plates another one. Pulls it within two. Scores now 7-5. to five. Summertown trails. Reyes got him a pretty good lead here at second. Matthew's going to hit a line drive through the 5 6 hole. Good piece of hitting. So they're saying safe. Yeah, they're saying safe. He gets back. Perez does get back. Sorry, I kind of got caught up on that. Jason was sending him, and the uh, left footer come up with a cannon in. He tried to hold Branch Perez back. Going to bring up Ryder Blackwood with two outs. Runner standing at first and third. Need Ryder to keep his hot bat going right here. Roll this lineup back over to the top. Their coach is readjusting their outfield. Third baseman way in on the grass. Ryder's going to slap that in the end of the net. Swinging away. He was with that one. Third baseman said three foot in the grass after his bunt for a hit the last time. Pitcher comes set here, ready to deliver. Delivers home to Ryder. Ryder's going to take that pitch for a strike on the outside corner. They hot right here, Ryder. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner standing at first and third. Pitch delivered. Ryder takes that one. Must have been just a touch low. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Ryder calls timeout, backs out of the box. Took a picture a little while on that one. Pitcher delivers. Ryder's going to hit that ball well in the center field. Burns the center fielder. It's going to score two. Ryder's going to have a triple. Slides in there for a triple. That a boy Ryder burning the center fielder. My gosh, what did he have for breakfast today? I don't know, but I, I'm telling you, the kid, the kid is he <laughs> just is, tied the game. He is four for four and has just tied this ball with game two outs. With two outs, and he's down, you know, one two in the count. Yeah. That's yep, down o two. O two in the yeah, count. Had two strikes. Worked it back. Got him a ball. So another one of them line drives, I'm telling you, the center fielder overrun it. It was hit right at, it, right at him, and he come running in and burns him. Brings up Grayson Burleson. Gives Summertown a chance to take the lead with uh, Ryder Blackwood standing at third. Catcher's going to call timeout and again. Come out and talk to his pitcher. Doing all this from the nine spot in the lineup. Yes, nine hole. Hey, I like a good hitter in my nine hole. Yeah. So, and speed. Yes. As uh, Coach Burleson sending somebody to the pen to get loose. I honestly believe that is Keegan, Keegan McCafferty. Yeah. He's sending down. Yeah, looks that way. Piece delivered here to Grayson's in the oh. dirt. Catcher does a good job blocking it. Riders had a great two games right here today. Comes in that second yeah. and first game, hits a double. He didn't come into the fourth inning of the second yeah. game. Ball's going to be up. Oh, called strike on Grayson. Really? Yeah. Oh, one ball, one strike. Wow. Two outs. Ah, Grayson reaches for that one. That's an all-speed pitch. 
Makes him go down. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Runner here at third and Ryder Blackwood. Ball game is tied seven to seven with Ryder's triple. Grayson takes that ball down and away. Even up the count. Had a lot of twos on the board. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Grayson steps back in, pitcher comes set. Delivers. Grayson's gonna foul that one off. Just gets rid of it and off the net. Grayson takes that pitch away. Full count, two outs. <laughs> Make the count full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Looking for the go-ahead run. Pitcher delivers. Grayson gets down after that one, hits it. Center field well, center fielders and under that one. Yep. Makes the play for the third out of the inning, but Summertown does play four runs. Uh, here in the bottom bottom of the fifth inning and we'll, we've done that if you think about it we've played it to four runs well with the bottom part of our lineup that's what we've yeah. been looking for all year so that's, that's you're exactly that's, right that's huge we've been trying to get them to get in the game and they have today and they've brought us back in this one this is Summertime Baseball on Exports Network. LUS is committed to our customers. From providing and maintaining energy-efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. All right, we're back. Number 16 steps in the box. Takes strike one from Casey Blackwood. He's come in to pitch for Summertown. This is Tristan Global. Swings through that one. For strike two, goes down 0-2 here. Called strike three. Good pitch sequence right there by Kaysen. Not, not bad. So this is their leadoff who is out of the game, <laughs> I think. Remember that? Him no, remember this is it? number nine. Number six was the leadoff. Right. This is number they, they nine. They took him out, made it bad. And this For number hit, nine, they come in and hit the, had the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Hit the, Hit the ground ball. I don't know his name. We don't have a number nine on the roster. He swings through that one. For strike one.
Mason comes set and delivers. It's an off-speed pitch that I, I guess it fooled Zach, too. <laughs> Zach, Zach wasn't expecting it. He's going to draw jog out. I don't know what that was, but uh, it's some kind of off-speed, and Zach was not expecting it because it just got off the end of his glove. Just kind of floated by him back there. So it will be two balls, one strike, one out. Pitch is delivered. Will be called strike two. Jason steps back up there. Working pretty quick. Uh, Going to call that pitch out. Our boys wanted it. Jason delivers. Be a ground ball hit through the five six hole. Well hit baseball back through the five six hole. Can't nobody get to it. Puts a runner at first. Bring up Colton Wallace, number 11, was their pitcher. Left-handed hitter, right-handed pitcher, so he's he stayed on that side all day swinging. Jason comes set, delivers home. We balled down. Still hadn't turned that double play today, Will. No, be a good time for it. Yeah, be a good, great time for it right here. Takes another ball down. It's two balls, no strikes, one out. Runner standing at first. This kid's got some pretty good wheels at first. He had a steal a while ago. Pick back over to first. He gets back safe. Jason comes set, delivers to the plate. Called. What did I guess they call a balk. They threw the pitch home, but they've called a balk. I guess he comes set long enough. Pitch is going to be down. Makes it 3 0. So three balls, no strikes, one out. Runner standing at second on the balk, moves him up to second. Pitch is delivered. There it is. Fastball in there for a strike. Make it 3-1. Let's make him hit his way on, Casey. It's delivered up and in. Going to be ball four. Coach to Wallace to draw a walk. Bring up Brennan Gibson. It's number five. It's their shortstop. It's like Summertown's running somebody else down there to warm up. Timmy, you might be one of the few I've seen that yawn in the middle of talking to 80 people over there. Well, I'm sorry. You, uh, it kind of caught me off guard, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't expecting to yawn. It's a college strike. You born yourself? I guess. You know. How many people's watching? Well, uh, 30. You told on. me earlier I didn't have nobody but Counting on here. He's the only one I was worried about. Uh, you about Counting seven. and Brazier, and I ain't about, worried about any one of them. It's going to be about, called strike. About 70 with everything combined. Ah, good. So we got one ball, two strikes, one out. Runner standing at first and second. I tried to cover it up, Will. Ball is going to be checked, swung on, hit into the first base dugout. Pitch is going to be drove here in the left field. Perez makes the play. Gets it back in. So we got bases Everybody, loaded now. Yep, just loads the bases. It's going to be their catcher, number 10. He swung the bat pretty good today. Evan Leonard. 
hitting in the four hole with bases loaded and one out. Pick swung through. Yeah, he was he was going for a four run lead with that swing. Do you think that they'll stop at six innings like the previous? I don't game? know. I don't know what they'll do. I don't know why they what they got it scheduled for. That ball is popped up behind the plate. Zach Staggs looks like he has trying to have a bead on it. That, that this wind. That's why I said have to give our infielders a break on those kinds of plays because you think from your seat, oh, he should have that. But uh, I'm sure that's not as easy as you might think, this kind of wind. Yeah. Oh, no, that wind, that ball was, you know, especially for a catcher because he's coming out looking at it backwards. I mean, it should be easier on your infielders to track it, but it just shot back behind Zach. You know, he tracked it out and then had to go backwards 10 foot to try to get to it. Ball's going to be down. Still just one away. So one ball, one strike. Pitch is delivered. Going to be up. Nowhere to put him. Ball two. Pitch is hit right here at us. I don't think it's got enough. Ah, it does. Clears wow. the fence by about six inches That's for a grand slam. Right That's all wind. Yeah. I promise. I you. thought that was a pop up on the like, yeah. shallow. Well, when yeah. it left the bat, I actually thought that Oops, I Perez was going to have to go in, but you know, me standing here looking right down the back of the fence, it was uh, just barely over, and it just kept carrying. wasn't really nothing we could do with that. So, uh, well, they give us the score. So we're up 11 to 7 <laughs> on their their grand slam. Summertown goes up. Yeah. They hit a grand slam. Summertown goes up to 11 to 7. So we know that's backwards. So uh, it's a four run shot. Well, now the missed ball by the catcher hurts a little bit. Well, that had been two outs, yeah, but I mean, that's, that's a tough play. I mean, yeah, that's, I know, that's tough. I Ryder swings through this one for strike one. Number 26, Drew Miller, playing third base for him today. Or he was. I don't think he's at third no more. I think they've moved him. Ball's hit right back up the middle. Matthew makes a good play on that ball back in to get the second out of the inning. It's good job of Matthew. I tell you, man, Matthew's glove the last two games has been, don't want to brag on it too much, but man, it's been, he's looked like a different kid out there. All right, so two away. Brings up number 22, Jalen Page. He started out at first, but now I think he's at third. I don't know what that hit. He call that a foul ball or dead ball or I don't I think that's another one that was kind of Yeah, he called it a strike. So it must have been off his bat. Must have been a foul ball. Jason comes set and delivers. That and is fouled back. I could see that. The wind's just as bad now as it's been all day. It is. It's really shaking the camera and everything else. So no balls, two strikes, two outs. Jason delivers. Gonna take ball in. Make it a one two count. Pitch is delivered. Takes that one up, I guess, for ball two.
Fouls that ball back out of play. Keeps the count the same. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Case and Blackwood on the mound. Dunning Page takes that pitch for a ball. Make it full. Pitch delivered. He's going to lift that out here into left field. Perez goes line drive out here. Perez goes across, cuts it off. Lift it back in. Gonna bring up their DH. Floyd Dodwell. Coach Bartison is gonna come out. I think he's bringing somebody with him. He is, I can't really tell exactly who it is, but we'll let y'all know when we get back. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Hood Company Real Estate is highlighting the beautiful home located at 786 Hillview Drive in Lawrenceburg as this week's property of the week. This spacious four bedroom, four bath brick residence sets on a picture perfect three plus acre lot and features an attached extra large two car garage. This is a solid custom built home with many updates including a new HVAC system and tankless hot water heater plus the price has recently been reduced. For more on this and many other homes check out hoodcompanyhome.com or phone The Hidden Garden, located just off the square in downtown Lawrenceburg, is your hometown oasis for massage, aesthetics, full hair and nail services, and body waxing. Gift certificates are available, and be sure to follow them on Facebook for their specials. The Hidden Garden, your peace, your place. 222 Pulaski Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, or phone 931-762-9799. All right, we're back. If Summertown does make a pitching change, brings in John Kobe Stanley. Facing Floyd Dodwell, their DH today. He's had some pretty good swings, pretty good size kid. Do have two outs, runner at first. They have played four runs here to go up 11 to 7. Piece delivered. Up and in. Took for ball one. Not looked at the runner yet. He hadn't, and the runner knows it and has left. Zach ain't got a chance on that. That's no. that's all on John Kobe, in my opinion. Got to check him over. There. It's gonna be a ball, so it's two balls, no strikes, two outs. Wow. Pitch is going to squirt off Zach's glove. Not sure what happened there. Moves the runner up to third. Yeah, Zach's got to have that, but I, you know it is tough on a 
catcher to catch multiple pitchers at different times and pitches come from different angles and different spins. John Kobe comes set with a 3-0. Ball's going to be up, ball four. See some scampering in the dugout over there. Looks like we're going to get somebody else up. So he comes set, ready to deliver. Steps off. Looks at the guy over at first this time. Runner standing at first and third. Two outs. Called strike. It's Mason this Neal is. going to warm up. Number four, Chris Irby, playing right field. So, no balls, one strike, two outs. Runner standing at first and third. John Kobe comes set, fakes the third, throws the first. Sir, coach is going to have a little conversation with the batter. This is one of them positions, if you go to a Summertown softball game, if, if the other team's hitting and they call timeout, talk to the batter, Greg runs to the pitcher. Yeah. It's a free visit. <laughs> it ain't his timeout, but he can run out and talk to them. Yep. And he uses every chance he gets. He'll use their timeouts just like they do. Pitch is delivered, runner does go. He's up safe. So one ball, one strike, two outs. Runner standing at second and third. He's going to hit this batter and put him on to load it up. Just need to get this one out. And this is a new hitter here. I haven't never seen before. Number 19. Yeah. Colin Hitch is where they've got him listed down on the bottom part of the roster. Number 19, Colin Hitch is coming in for a, and it bad anyways. Bases loaded. Bases loaded, two outs. He's delivered up and away. Ball's gonna be in the dirt. Zach does a good job blocking it up, just keeping it there so there can't nobody advance. Piece of liver going to be fouled back off Zach. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Bases loaded. John Kobe comes set and delivers to the plate. It's going to be a ground ball down the third baseline. Out of a diving reach of Kane Kinnick. That's a good hit. He is going to score two. Ball was hit right down the chalk. So good pinch hitting decision, I guess. Drives in two more. Uh, another, makes it, another mound visit. Makes it 13 to seven. I think Coach Burleson is going to make another change here. Take a little break. It's Summertown Baseball on X Sports Network.
The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf and this is Hustler Country. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds, let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. Make your property rock and roll with services from up. So this is number nine, which like I said, I, I still don't have a name for him. I ain't got a number nine on the roster. So he come in early for the lead off. It's going to be delivered up and away. Ball makes it one ball, one strike, two outs. Runner standing at second and third. He's delivered. Gonna be up and in. Must have hit him. Let me take his base. It's gonna be number 11. Wallace. We've been waiting on this third out quite a while. Yeah, well, it's that two out curse, buddy. Yeah. They've scored every one, all six runs, they've scored with two outs. Mason delivers that pitch for a strike. We ball in. Like it one ball, one strike. Well, wait a minute. I got two balls on the scoreboard. Uh oh, I thought it was 1-1. One, one. Uh, I think it is. Pitch is delivered in. Yeah, they got it right now. Yeah, so it's 2-1. Uh -huh. Bases are loaded again. I can't imagine we got any viewers left. No, well, we do. Called strike. strike two. I say the hunt may start helping us here in a little bit. We gotta get this last out. There's another game coming after this, apparently. Oh, yeah. Called strike three. There Mason gets the strike out. The end of the inning. Thank you, Mason Neal. So they do score, put six runs on the board, make it 13 to seven. Summertown trails by six going into the bottom of the sixth inning. See if we can do something here. Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Welcome to Employee Resources Credit Union, where you're more than just a number, you're family. We provide financial solutions that rise above those of traditional banks. With roots stretching back to 1964, we've served four generations during constant industry changes. We're known for our low fees and incredible rates. Join us and experience the credit union difference. BRCU, not for profit, for service.
All right, we're back here. Summertown trails 13 to seven, down by six runs. In the bottom of the sixth inning, we're, Case and Blackwood's coming up. We're guessing this is probably it. You're After, guessing. You're ready to yeah. go home, Will. I want to play another. <laughs> pitcher delivers. Called strike one. They have changed pitchers. Oh. Who we got? Uh, I'm trying to see. Can't see his number. Seven? I don't know yet. Yes, number seven. Uh, good play by the third baseman. Yeah, good play right there by the third baseman to go get that. Two hopper by Casey. First out of the inning. So bring up Kane Kinnick. Been in a three hole today. Coming up with one out. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers. Ball's going to be up and away for ball one. And he swings through that pitch. For strike one. Makes the count 1-1. One, one. What'd you say the pitcher's name was? I'm still looking. It's number seven. Called strike. Garrett Allen. Kane okay, goes down to count. One ball, two strikes. Pitch delivered. Ball's in the dirt. Going to kick off the catcher against the backstop. Makes it 2-2. Two, two. I, mean, I don't know what Kane's doing. He jogs back and picks up the ball. Gives it to the umpire. He's just so friendly. Two balls, two strikes. Pitcher delivers. He's going to hit a shot at the shortstop. Fields it clean. Throws over to first. Second out of the inning. Brings up Jackson Bennett. It's the last at bat. Locked about uh, six inches of getting one out of here. Jackson takes that pitch, strike one. A little more velo here on this pitcher, I believe. Works really quick, too. Ah, that's a good breaking pitch in there for strike two. Jackson goes down 0-2. Oh, Jackson's going to lift that ball into right field. Right fielder's calling it. Makes the play for the third out of the inning. Let's see if this is it. Yeah, that's it. They're lining up. That'll be ball game. That Summertown will it. lose 13-7 to here in the second game on the day. Like I said, though, Will, I mean, we was in this game. It's 7-7 seven to seven going into the sixth yeah. inning. Uh, you know, just well, we seem there, to keep and, then, and we give up them runs with two outs. I mean, we just can't find that third out. Well, long before it was 7-7, seven, seven, we allowed some runs because we of did. errors and stuff, too. We did. It, it we did. It could have been in different. The, in the second inning, we give up some, give up a couple of runs. There's two runs scored in the second inning on errors. But I tell you, there's definitely some uh, positives, though, that we're taking home. And, and again, uh, Zach's bat waking up. Keegan's bat uh, was was strong today. So on the offensive end of things. Um, Matthew Loveman centered a couple balls today. Just didn't have no yeah. luck with them falling. That, that's true. I mean, Matthew centered up a couple. I look for more of the centered it up and hitting it hard than I do. You know, when you're hitting pop-ups and ground balls, then, you know, you're, in, you're not in the center of it. So, but. So, so Summertown does fall here. Now the next game after today. It's Monday. You know, unless Jason schedules us another one tomorrow on Sunday. <laughs> no, we'll no, play I'm Monday. Joking. Yeah, we're playing Monday at uh, Brooks. And uh, so that's a new one for me. I've never been yeah. there. A little worried about service in that small, town, small town Alabama. But uh, we're going to try to bring that one to you Monday. Tuesday we host East Limestone. And then we have Wednesday and Thursday off before we play uh, Lawrence County Lawrence County Friday and Saturday. And that Friday, it's a good Friday. There's no school. We'll have a Kaufman LCHS doubleheader that day. Uh, middle school, high school doubleheader. So, anything else, Timmy? 
Uh, no. Are we at home Friday or away? Home Friday, away Saturday. Saturday. And they then, both double headers? No. Okay. No, just the just, Friday just game. The fr just the good Friday one when there's no school. Okay. And then, um, of course, Monday starts district play. It that, does. The following Monday starts district play. And I'm ready to go to district. I've seen some positives here tonight. I'm sure Coach Bartleson's seen some positives here today. You know, we do pick up the one win. We do get another loss here. But hey, in the, in the bat of Ryder Blackwood, we got to say something. No, about yeah, that. I mean, you know, Ryder's Ryder's at three for three, was he? Four for four. Four for four. Four for four. He had uh, two gosh. double, two doubles, a triple, and a bunt single. Yeah. Is what he had today. Well, so, whatever, whatever he did today before coming here, he needs to repeat that. Uh, you know, breakfast and, and and you know socks and everything. Yeah. So. All right. So we but, still didn't get a bunt down today, did we? Yeah, Ryder did. Got a bunt down for a hit. Ryder got a bunt down. Yeah, for Ryder a hit. had the bunt down. Yeah. All right. We got to think yeah. of something to treat Ryder with. Yeah. Then. So, but uh, all right. But I see it coming together. It's going. It's looking better and better every time we play. Like I, Coach Stanley said the other day, hey, we get one percent better every time, but we just ain't got ninety nine games to play. So. Yeah. But I, th I see us getting better. I see that you know we're, uh, you know, we threw a lot of our younger pitching this week. Uh, you know, after Jackson had thrown Wednesday uh, for the Thursday game at Spring Hill, you know, Huckabee come in, throwed really well. I like the looks yeah. of that. We show up up here today. Braden Keaton starts the first game, throws, goes four innings really well. Uh, Ryder comes in, pitches after him, does really well on the mound. Yeah. You know, so Ryder started his second game. You know, that, that's hard to do, take a 15, 20-minute break and then bounce back out there and do it again. Ryder started and got a little bit of trouble. We kind of had to scatter some pitching around here in this the last of this one, but hey, it's there and it's yeah. getting better, and they're getting you know they getting mound visits and starting to look better. So yeah, but, and, and you know uh, hopefully this is the windiest game we'll ever have. I uh, hope I hope uh, I never have to deal with this again. Right. This is Summertown Baseball on X Sports Network. Going the distance with local sports.